The fourth question I get asked in clinic is, can I avoid a picky eater? I have so many parents come and tell me that their children are picky eaters. So we really try to proactively address with new parents, can I avoid having a picky eater? And the answer is absolutely. The more options you offer your baby, the better their taste and palate develops over time to eat a wide variety of vegetables, fruits, proteins, herbs, and spices. On average, you have to introduce a new food anywhere between seven to 21 times for your child to acquire taste for it. So if your baby is spitting out broccoli or making faces, it doesn't mean he or she doesn't like the taste for it. It just means it's something new that's gonna take time to develop a taste for. I also recommend offering two choices, but choices that you want your children to eat, which gives them a sense of control and autonomy over the process and makes it fun as well. The latest research shows that there are three ways to help picky eaters. One is using a dipping sauce like carrots with hummus to make vegetables a little bit more exciting. The other is cutting vegetables in fun shapes and sizes. For example, cutting a purple beet into a circle and then adding two green peas as the eyes. And the third most important one is modeling good behavior. It's really important as a parent to eat what your child eats because when they see you eating and loving vegetables, they're more likely to as well.